Hi, this is PDP. This is my first video. Here's uh, the latest game I've been working on. Uh, see that bear? That's your player sprite. I uh, haven't put a lot of effort into spriting or anything. I've been putting a lot of work into the game mechanism itself. Okay, there's the bear. Now I'm gonna scroll over here. We got a we got those squares there. Show you when I go, when I move the bear down, looks like I can't move. Oh, there we go. Okay. When I move the bear down, he gets that A. And there it is in our inventory. And if I click on the A, notice I've got two cursors here. That's real problem to fix. Okay, I click on the A, and there it is. The A pops out of the inventory above the bear's head. So, there's our inventory. Go get that C, and can you see that? He clicks into our inventory there. So, whatever I pick up is placed into the first open slot in the inventory. I've got 30 slots here. This is a 6 by 5 grid, so I can put 30 things in there. Now all the items in this game are just the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. But you can do it with anything, as long as you have small, small sprites that will fit in there. I'm using sprites that are uh, 32 by 32. Okay, now this bear can move this way, this way, this way, this way. That's uh, and when he moves into things, he doesn't move into solid objects. He will move into the inventory because that's not solid. That's not even an object. That's using the draw function. Go pick that one up. One down here. You see that D? Oh, oops. Pick that up. Since I'm using uh, Cam Studio, I have to keep clicking on the uh, on the game, clicking the mouse on the game, so I can move. Uh oh, there's a monster. Uh oh. Ah, ah. I'm gonna run away. Now, can you see me here? This monster's got a little bit of AI. He's uh, the second monster. You see, he's moving around. He follows the monster. He follows the player by uh, adjusting his X and Y coordinates. To you know, if uh, the player's X is more than his, he adds to it. If it's less, he subtracts from it. The same thing with his Y. But he's also got a little random. You can see he's kind of bopping around there because he's got. Uh, each each step he also does a random move if it's open. Note that also he's not moving through the solid object which is which is the wall. Okay, now show over here. That's my health there. It's down a little uh, health starts out at fifty. I've got this health bar which uh right now it doesn't follow the view, which is a bug, but that's easy to fix. Uh, and there it says my health is 37, so I've lost, what, uh, 13 points from taking a few bullets. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go down and kill the blue guy. Oops. There I am. And when I press the space bar, he fires arrows. He fires bullets. And notice there's a little space between them. Oh, you can't see those bullets. Let me move the view over here. Okay, I press the space bar. Oops. And there's my bullets. And I've got a little routine with using an alarm to slow him down so I don't just have a continuous line of bullets coming out, which is what I had at first. Okay, and now I'm going to move this over and fight, fight the monster. 
resistor. Now this, the direction I fire is just the direct, the last direction that I moved. Okay, I killed him there. Uh, but I took some damage, took 10 more points of damage because he ran into me because he kept firing bullets. And I got a lot of more, a lot more here. Uh, notice that these guys do not bop around. They just follow me pretty much, pretty much a follow. And I killed them. And my health is still 27. Pretty good. Okay. Get up into the view there. So I'm not saying this is a finished game or anything, but look what I can do. I can fire bullets, and the monsters fire bullets too. And the monsters don't just die when they take one hit. It takes a couple hits to kill them. That means the monsters have health, which uh, seemed like a pretty easy thing to do before I did it. But I actually had to, uh, when I first made the... If you just have one monster, it's easy to do. But if you've got, you know, multiple, I've got multiple instances of the same object. For instance, I think I've got more over here. Move over here and go into it. Oh, there they go. Oh, I'm gonna, he's gonna shoot me. Oops, I was off screen, but I killed him there. Uh, so, those green ones are all the same object. Uh, the problem is when you hit them, you will uh, you say, oh, I just minus one health with other. You know, So, uh, if collision bullet with other, uh, health minus equals one problem with that is that will minus all of the monster's health. So you need to go into using the uh, ID codes, which was new to me, and I just sort of figured out how to do that by going to the, uh, uh, what is it called, G GMC, GM Game Maker Community, and I was going to post a question, but I was able to find the answer by just going through and looking, looking at other other users' questions, and somebody had a question 